Uh, injury news in February, never what we want, but it's what we have. As we say good morning again to J.P. Morosi live from Tampa. Kyle Bradish starting the season on the injured list, we just learned, with a sprained UCL. Terrible news, J.P., good morning to you. When did this happen? Lauren, good morning. This was an off-season issue that, that crept up during the course of his pre preparation for the season itself. Some news from Jake Rill, our colleague covering the Orioles for MLB.com today, that he has had a platelet-rich plasma injection to address that right elbow sprain. Again, sprain, not strain. Uh, but to your point, he will open the season on the injured list. So concern from the Orioles' standpoint, this is someone who was a Cy Young Award candidate a year ago go. So while they bring in Corbin Burns, now concern over Bradish, and he is not alone. Jake Rill also reporting John Means likely a month late because of an elbow flare-up. No official word about an IL placement for him during the course of the regular season, but again, that seems to be a possibility too for John Means. Gunnar Henderson has been a little bit late, will be late to Grapefruit League action because of an oblique issue. And finally, uh, the catching prospect, Samuel Basayo, one of the very best catching prospects in the game. He has a stress reaction in his right elbow. So for a team that had a lot of good news last yeah. year, Lauren, some tough news to begin this spring training not far from here in Sarasota, Florida. But on the subject of the Yankees, I'll, I'll get myself there right now. Uh, Marcus Stroman, a short time ago uh, in the clubhouse there, he is slated now to be the Yankees' home opener starting pitcher against his original organization, the Toronto Blue Jays. How about that for a, a great arrival to the Bronx for Marcus Stroman? Of course, we expect Garrett Cole, the Cy Young winner, to be the opening day starter, but that's going to be on the road. So the home opener assignment will go to the native of Patchogue Medford High School on Long Island and Marcus Stroman. So uh, Garrett Cole, as I mentioned, Lauren, he will actually throw his bullpen later on today. We expect Garrett Cole to meet with the media about an hour or so from now. And finally, Lauren, on the subject of your forthcoming visit to Yankees camp for our 30 for 30 coverage. <laughs> I don't even have Aaron to read Boone, to when you. I saw Aaron Boone. You're just self-contained. Well, so here we go. Uh, Aaron Boone, I spoke with him a moment ago. He, he smiled at me, shook, shook my hand and said, hey, JP, good to see you. And he said, I said, what's going on, Aaron? He said, listen, I could do a pretty good JP Morosi impersonation on the air. Now, Aaron, of course, as we know, great broadcaster. Yes, yes. And and I said, oh, really? Could you could you do a JP impersonation, a little preview? And he said, he said, if I had the opportunity on Hot Stove, the first three words out of my mouth would be, great question, Lauren. Ah! Yes, so, he nailed it. So <laughs> he nailed it. He na so so so, Lord, I would say this. I'm not going to plan the show. This is above my pay grade. But if you were to welcome in Aaron Boone as JP and ask him about the move, he'd basically say, "Great move by everybody. Mm. Everybody's going to win the World Series. I'm in a great mood." There you go. I'm going to interview him in two you. weeks' time, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, Aaron Boone, what he does not like. <laughs> he does not like when you introduce someone like the great Matt Vaskersian or the great J.P. Morosi. He says it's patronizing. Just stick that in your back mm. pocket. He does not like that. I learned that in a I, manager meeting a couple very of years good. ago. Well, so we'll take that under advisement. And again, I humbly suggest that as a fun segment for your trip here to Tampa. I mean, producer, <laughs> talent, you do it all. J.P. Morosi.